Welcome to the ultimate guide on MOSFET transistors. In 1959, Bell Labs introduced a groundbreaking invention. This invention would forever change the landscape of electronics. The MOSFET transistor was born, setting the stage for modern computing and power electronics. But how does a MOSFET work, and why is it so crucial? Let's explore. The metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, or MOSFET, is a key player in modern electronics. Unlike traditional transistors, MOSFETs use an electric field to control electrical current, making them efficient, fast and essential in power applications, microprocessors, and solar inverters. MOSFETs come in various shapes. The two most common types are N-channel and P-channel MOSFETs. N-channel MOSFETs are favored for high-speed switching, while P-channel MOSFETs are used in specific applications like high-side switching. They operate in two modes, enhancement mode, where they remain off until a voltage is applied, and depletion mode, where they stay on, by default. At its core, a MOSFET has three terminals, gate, drain, and source. When voltage is applied to the gate, it creates an electric field that allows current to flow from drain to source. The higher the gate voltage, the more current flows. When selecting a MOSFET, key parameters must be considered. Drain source resistance, RDS on, affects efficiency, while the drain source voltage, VDs, and drain current, ID, determine its power handling capacity. Lower RDS on means less heat and better performance. MOSFETs are widely used as electronic switches. They can turn on and off much faster than mechanical switches, making them ideal for DC motor control, LED drivers, and power regulators. A MOSFET's gate requires a specific voltage level to turn on fully. That's why MOSFET drivers are often used to ensure efficient switching and to avoid unnecessary heat dissipation. High-power MOSFETs require protection circuits. Flyback diodes prevent voltage spikes, snubber circuits reduce transients, and proper heat management extends their lifespan. From inverters to battery management systems, MOSFETs are ubiquitous. They play a vital role in renewable energy, automotive systems, and communication devices. Want to check if your MOSFET is functioning? Use a multimeter. A healthy MOSFET should not show a short circuit between the drain and source unless activated. This simple test can save hours of troubleshooting. Since its invention, the MOSFET has revolutionized electronics. From tiny processors and smartphones to massive power grids, its impact is profound. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe for more tech insights. Now let's turn our attention to the IV characteristics of MOSFET. In this explanation, we'll focus on the N-channel MOSFET to keep things clear and avoid confusion. We will consider the IV characteristics of two important modes of MOSFETs the enhancement mode and the depletion mode. An enhancement mode MOSFET is normally off, that means without any gate voltage it does nothing. But a depletion mode MOSFET is normally on. It conducts current even when no voltage is applied to the gate. Let's start with the IV characteristics of enhancement mode MOSFET. There are three regions to note, one cutoff region. When the gate to source voltage, VGS, is less than the threshold voltage, VITH, the MOSFET is off no current flows, ID equals zero, two linear or triode region. Here VGS or gate source voltage is greater than VTH or threshold voltage, and the drain to source voltage, VDS, is small. The MOSFET acts like a variable resistor. Current increases almost linearly with VDS. Three saturation region. When VDS is large enough, greater than VGS minus VTH, the current stops rising and saturates. ID depends mostly on the gate voltage at this point, Depletion Mode IV Characteristic Now let's look at the Depletion Mode MOSFET. Here's what makes it special. At VGS equals zero, the MOSFET is on. Current flows because the channel is already present. Now if you make VGS negative, the current reduces. Why? Because you're depleting the channel, narrowing it, until it eventually cuts off. This region is called the Depletion Region. But what if you make VGS positive? Now you're enhancing the already existing channel and current increases even more, so, the depletion mode MOSFET works in both depletion and enhancement. It gives more flexibility than the enhancement mode type. Now, if we plot IV curves, for enhancement mode all the curves start at zero current, no gate voltage, no current. But for depletion mode, the curves already show current at VGS equals zero. They drop lower with negative VGS and rise higher with positive. In summary, enhancement mode MOSFET is normally off. You must apply gate voltage to turn it on. Depletion mode MOSFET is normally on. 
you apply negative gate voltage to turn it off. That's the beauty of MOSFET IV characteristics. They show how the drain current ID, varies with gate source voltage VGS, and drain source voltage VDS, helping to identify its operating regions, cutoff, linear, and saturation for switching and amplification purposes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more electronics videos.